Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing this morning? I hope this video comes out all right because I'm, I'm using my other camera. My other camera, I thought it was charged, but it wasn't. And I had it in my purse since yesterday. And I just came out here to show you that spring has sprung. Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know. The weather is beautiful. The tree is beautiful. Over there is beautiful. Everywhere is beautiful, y'all. And it feels beautiful. Oh, look at the bird. I, I, there he is, he's, he's in the bush right there, but you probably can't see him. But the birds are out here chirping. It's as if everybody's happy out here this morning. The, the traffic is flowing along and everything, y'all. But the most impressive is my tree because I know it's not going to last that long. And so, therefore, that's the trash I got to get up, y'all, every year. Now, they are supposed to come over here and clean this off for me. But it looks like they're not going to do it. So, I'm going to have to do it myself. You know, most of the time they do it. Yep. And I got these glasses on, which I'm not crazy about since I got them. And that's that smell in my house again, like sewage. You know, I just smell it just now when I can't, you know, when, you, when you're when in here, you sort of get used to the smell or whatever the smell is. And then you go out and that's when you smell it. Let me show you Pinky. This is gonna be a very short video, yeah, because I'm working on a project, a WIP, a WIP. That's Pinky. Ooh, somebody is smoking that stuff. My God, you can't go nowhere in the city. It's, the whole city is going to go up in that smell. You know, as soon as it, in the wintertime when you go out, when it's chill, kind of chilly, you don't smell it like that. But once that weather breaks, they're outside because it's legal, you know. And, uh, I'm telling you, my, my respiratory cannot take that stuff. I mean, you, I'm driving down the street yesterday, and that's all I could smell. I said, oh, my goodness, the city's going to go up in smoke because everybody's smoking, no matter where you go. You go downtown, the whole downtown is lit. I guess you call it lit when you get high. Well, <laughs> Well, they are celebrating it on a daily, I tell you. Every day. 24-7, 365. But in the, it's more, like I said, it's more prominent. Let me show y'all how fat I got in these pants. Let's see. Now, these pants used to be, well, I'm putting it in the wrong place. I don't know why I keep coming back here because it ain't going to be no better. Wait a minute. One day, one of these days, I was, so you can't really, why can't I show? They're them hips and the pants all tight. These are, these are jeans that I've had for years and years and years. But now they are strapping tight. I mean, like a, you know, like the young people wear tight. I mean, they were not big, big on me. But they were, you know, they fit better. And uh, even my belt. I'll show you. Let me see if I can show you my belt. That's my belt. See, I used to wear it way back here. But now I put it, I have to put it here. Because I'm so huge, y'all. I said, well, maybe if I talk about it, show somebody something, I'll be about it. You know what I mean? Be about this weight loss. And I'm going to go, I keep telling myself, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to do all this stuff once I get my ride. I'm not going to do no, you know, real strenuous exercise, y'all. I'm going to do just about what I've been doing at home. <clears throat> well, the, the um, you know, the weight's here. Let me show you. Eh. I know you've seen my weights. These are three pounds. That's most of the time of what I use to do this, this, you know, my, my ups and downs and my, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I want to go to the gym 
to ride the bike. Ooh, let's take these glasses off now. Wow. Ooh, there it is. It ain't been too long to hit the flow, but that's all right. And I've been working on another project, which I, I know you're not interested in, but let me show you anyhow. This is old, old yarn and new yarn mixed. And I'm just going to throw any color I want to in here. Any color that comes up, anything that'll go all the way around one time. Is that a, that's a Robin Bradbury sitting right on my face, y'all. Because I got my curtain open. I left my curtain open when I went outside, when I went to uh, show y'all Pinky. He's gone. They don't stay long. They just go. And that's what I've been doing. And I've been, this one that I made, I'm unraveling. See all that work I put into it? And then I start again and do something else. And I got a lot of scraps in here. So that's what I've been doing in the wee hours of the morning. That's why I kind of got up late. Well, I was, I was up earlier. Like, as always, I tell you this all the time, I be up early, and then I go back to bed. And that's where I'm just coming from, really, right now. Sort of uh, back out of, out, I mean, getting up again for the second time, wondering what I'm going to eat. But as you can see, as you can see how tight these pants are, I shouldn't be thinking about no food. But I bought me some brioche um, uh, rolls yesterday. And I, ooh, look at that one, y'all. Have you ever, I don't think you ever, and you probably will never, look at that monster. Ooh. But anyway, I, I, made, a, I made some tuna fish the other day. And I don't know if I have, let's see how many minutes I've been up here before I get carried away, because I said I wasn't going to be up here that long. But, um. I made some tuna fish, and I don't know if that's enough to make a sandwich or not. But I figured if I, if maybe if I toast the bread, put some butter on it, and just put that tuna fish on it, because I don't have to have the tuna fish weighed down, because it's quite a bit of mayo in it. You know, I like mine like almost sloppy. But then it, you know, how it is the next day when you get up the next day, it sort of thickens up. But this, I don't know if it's enough. To make myself a sandwich. And it's only 10 o'clock. Hello. It's only 10 o'clock, y'all. And here I am talking about eating. Well, like I said, I was up early this morning. So, therefore, I have a right to be hungry. They say your stomach clears out, empty out. Not empty out necessarily. But you get hungry like every four or five hours. And it's been over five hours since I've eaten. Yeah, I was up. I, matter of fact, I did this this morning. I unraveled it. As a matter of fact, I unraveled it and re unraveled it some more. And then I did all this before I went to bed. And while I was uh, sitting here, it still feels like something is awry right here. You know, like it's, it wants to act like it wants to pouch out. Puck around, whatever, you know. Maybe I can stretch it. See, I, this is what I don't like, y'all. Having to sew all this in, you know, by hand. I sewed a few in. But this is a this is a lot. When you when you change when you change your uh colors like that, uh the strings, the ends, or some people call it the tails are endless. You know, you got so many tails to, you know, sew in with your, that's why I got my little, here's my little thing, y'all. Uh, I keep my little uh, darning needles. I got some more darning needles they color, but I don't like those. I don't know where the heck they are either. See, that's a darning needle. It's got a big eye and a very blunt, like a round end to it. So you don't damage your yarn while you know while you are sewing in those ends. I think I'm gonna wait until eleven o'clock to at least eleven o'clock to eat. 
I might wait till I might wait till twelve. I need to get out there and see if I can walk part of a block or something. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. It seems like to me the more I try to cut back, the bigger I'm getting. It's like I'm swelling, blowing up like <sighs> every morning I get up, look like I blew up a little more. Oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'll tell you, I need to pray. Yes, sir, because this is something out of my control. And then, uh, you know, and I, I had um, the ice, the cake, and then I had the cake on Saturday, but I didn't have any ice cream, but I did have some soda, one slice of pizza. The pizza was yuck, so I will say. I ate maybe three quarters of a slice of that pizza. And and remind me never to order that pizza again. Well, I didn't order my granddaughter did. But never order it again. Don't make the mistake and dial that number and order their pizza. That pizza sucks. I'm not going to call that name, y'all. I don't know why they mess around and try to sue me for what you call it. Uh, uh, What do you call it? I forgot. It went into anyway, something they, they might try to sue me for. But I don't think they can because, you know, you know, freedom of speech. That's, that's, that, that covers me right there in the uh, commandment of what you call it? The Constitution. Oh, boy. I wouldn't mind going out for a little while, but I think uh, we might get a little rain. I'm not sure. I don't know exactly what is going on out here, y'all. I really don't. But I am going to have a piece of candy just to get the taste out of my mouth. I'm going to have that. And you know what else I bought when I went to the store uh, yesterday? Something that I haven't bought in years. Double mint gum. And I tell you, it does not taste anything like I remember. Even the, look at this. This used to be covered with this. I used to chew this gum, you know, this color, this whole thing right here used to be the color of double mint gum. And it doesn't taste the same. It's a hard, I, it, maybe it's old, I don't know, because I usually buy extra. But then as somebody told me, more well, my daughter said it extra. Well, you know, I ain't going to talk bad about extra because, you know, they might try to reach out and sue me. But anyway, that's what I usually buy. And as a matter of fact, I have some. I have one pack of uh, uh, extra left. And when it's gone, I think I'm just going to start buying some Tic Tac or something, you know, just to have something in my, to get out of my mouth. And plus that, I don't think Tic Tac's got that many calories. Y'all can have him for your pet because he swims so slow. But one thing about it, if anything gets after him, he can go in his shell. That's his protection. Like they say, we all got some kind of protected mechanism, you know. Uh, but, you know, come and think of it. We humans really don't. Well, we got the ribs to cover in our heart for that matter. You know, like sort of protecting it. And then you got the skull that's protecting your brain. But we don't have a shield or shell or something protecting us. But thank goodness that, that turtle got him a, a little house. He carries his house on his back and when he get ready, he get nervous, he get scared, he can just go in there. But you know, <laughs> I hope he don't get turned upside down because once they turn upside down, that's it. Their life is over. Unless somebody comes around and the kind heart and flips him back over on his back. Uh, we've been running into situations like that sometimes down south. See a turtle turned upside down and flip his butt over. Because otherwise he's doomed. And this guy, I don't know if I told this before or not. He was a distant cousin of mine. He made some turtle soup. Now, I don't know if that's the same type of turtle that he used. Or where he got this turtle from. Unless he got it when he went fishing. But he made some turtle soup. And I tell you, I tasted, you know, just the idea that his turtle soup turns you off, okay? <laughs> it just turns you off. Think, same thing as catfish stew. The sand cat 
fish, even though it's good. It's delicious. I tell you, catfish was one of the best fish, fish you know, tasting. And my flounder, I love flounder. Flounder got both his eyes, you know, that's the fish that got both his eyes on one side. He's a weird looking character, but I can tell you one thing. Fry that bad boy, he's delicious. But um, he cooked this turtle. I think this might be the kind of turtle. He, look at that head. Oh, the Lord. He looks like he's old, like he's been, been around the block a few times. You know what I'm saying? He's got barnacles on him. You know how the... I don't think I've ever seen that before. A turtle with barnacle with those things on. The only thing I've seen with it was a whale. It's a whale or a shark that gets... I think it's a whale that gets those barnacles or whatever they call them. That, them things that make you nervous. And they got... Well, it makes me nervous, anything like that. But anyway, he went somewhere and got this turtle. And, you know, he had a house like, you know, like they used to say, he ran a bad house. He had a loose house. You know, like everybody go there to hang out. He's selling a little, he's going on. May his soul rest in peace, you know. I used to like that man a lot. You know, he was a distant cousin of ours. And um, everybody hang out at his house because he had to, he was selling after hour liquor. And, you know, at that time I was drinking, but I didn't drink too much liquor. He had an after hour. He was a bootlegger, in other words. And so I don't have to name everything that he sell, that he was selling at the time. This is many, many years ago, y'all. Because I haven't drank, like I said, I haven't drank any alcohol in over uh, probably around 10 years. And um, he used to sell that stuff. And we hang out over there at his house, half stealing his beer out of the refrigerator and stuff. <laughs> oh, those were the days. But uh, he cooked this turtle one day. And, you know, when you drink, you want to, well, I did. I like to feed my booze. I would, I would eat. See, you can't, you can't drink a, do a whole lot of drinking and, and, don't, feed, and don't feed it. You got to feed it because that's, that's how you get your uh, system messed up. But you still can get your system messed up if you drink a lot. Depends on what you're drinking. And uh, I wanted to taste the soup. I'm hungry. <laughs> Back then, you know, you got to eat. You have one be something to eat. If it's some fat back meat, you know, you cook that. And that's when smoked meat was good. It was smoked like it was smoked in a pack house. I mean, in a smokehouse. But today, I mean, you lucky if you find a decent piece of smoked meat or smoked jowl or something like that. And you know how you used to do down south. You put that ham in the smokehouse. And let him smoke and smoke and smoke. And out come deliciousness. But today you can't find it. And even up here, uh, there used to be um, what we call the country store. And you could actually go there and buy Tom Thumb. You know the old Tom Thumb? Oh my goodness, you take it and it's a big old glob of something and like sausage. And then you slice it off, have it for breakfast, or either make you a Tom Thumb sandwich. Shoot, you in there. Let me tell you, y'all don't know nothing about no eating now. I'm getting to be talking about that southern food that I can recall. And um, I forgot what I was getting ready to say. Okay, when you're in the smokehouse, you get the smoked meat, you get the you get your smoked ham, you could get anything, smoked jowl, smoked ham hocks, and you you put those in your collard green. Now today you might be able to somebody pass them off as smoke, but it ain't like the real smoke. If you following me, it's not the real McCoy. And, you know, like they say, like down home, I don't know, where all these different turtles coming from? I don't know, y'all, but I got to share it with you. But I'm quite sure you got your own internet. You can look at it if you want to on there. But, you know, I got some beautiful turtles over here. You might not have it. I don't know what he's eating, but... But anyway, that's when you could get the smoked, uh, real smoked food. And you could get the smoked... Um, uh, smoked bacon, it, the bacon, oh my goodness, that slab bacon used to be so good, and there was this, um, country, country market, that, that's the actual name of it, country market, 
And they sold a lot of stuff that were actually from down home. I don't know if they was having it. Um, I don't think you would call it imported. What do you call it when it's in the same country as you? Well, anyway, he must have been getting it from somebody down home and bringing it up here. Because he had everything that the green sausage, they used to call it green sausage. When they make the sausage and put it in the casing. Oh, my goodness. Couldn't stay out of that store. But even that has dissipated, gone on. Can't find it no more. You go to Ferraro's or wherever and try to find you some. And at Christmas time, you know, like when you're cooking a great big dinner for your family and everything on Thanksgiving or Christmas, you've been looking for those things. But you have to take the, you know, the knockoff. It's like, a, that's what it is. A real, it's a knockoff. Or either people got this thing called liquid smoke. But you know, ain't no telling what's in that liquid smoke. Something they cooked up in the lab. You know, right? You remember that song? I was working in the lab late last night. Well, okay, that's what that's all about, y'all. I'm talking real McCoy stuff. When you put the uh, uh, smoke, hickory smoke wood, you know, you put that in the smokehouse. And we actually had a smokehouse. You know, a house that was made, you know, purpose, to, made for that purpose, to smoke. That's why they call it a smokehouse, so they can smoke something in it. Uh, about the size of a toilet. You know how the outdoor toilet was, right? Now, that's when I was real scared to go to the bathroom. I never could have made it down south, y'all, you know, back in the day. But you know, down south now is just like up north. It's like a... All the houses and stuff got bathrooms everywhere you go. There's an indoor plumbing and all that stuff. But it wasn't like that by no means when I was down there. Um, I came up north in 1960. That's when my mother said, y'all want to go up, you want to go up, stay up north? Yes, we do. But I didn't really because I didn't want to leave my friends. But once I got here, I don't want to go back. You know, because it's not the same. It's not the same anymore. It looks like, you know, when I went back down south for the last time to my mother's, my mother's brother's, uh, my mother, my mother's brother's funeral. Is that right? Yeah. My mother's brother funeral. That's when the last time I went down south, and that was in 1992. That's the last time I went south. And I went there, it's, it's like going to a foreign country. Believe me, it's not the same. And and most of the people, they done left too. They done came up this way. There's a very, very few people. I don't think I really even know anybody down there anymore. Maybe one or two, you know, people, they probably don't remember me, you know, because I was a child and they were my mother's friends. They've all gone, and all my cousins that were down there. I might have some distant cousins down there, but I wouldn't. I don't know them. Nope. All my folks is was up this way, and North Carolina. I got people in North. I got my grandkids in North Carolina because my daughter had moved to North Carolina. The last daughter uh, that had passed away, she had moved to North Carolina. And all of our children were born here, though. You know, they, they come up here. The ones that be talking about, my grandson come up from North Carolina. Okay, they were born here. But they've been in North Carolina for the ma majority of their lives. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, they don't even want to come back up here. No, they don't want to come up here. They love North Carolina. But I have to admit to you, Charlotte is beautiful. Have you seen Charlotte, North Carolina? Oh, my God, it is so beautiful. I said, wow, I couldn't believe it. It was so beautiful. And uh, my my daughter passed away in like a May, and it, the weather was nice. You, didn't, you know, it was just beautiful down there, perfect weather. And at nighttime, the buildings lit up in all different colors, blue, yellow, pink, green. You, I, I never seen anything like it. I was like amazed. 
I gotta get off the video, y'all, because I gotta get back to my uh, crocheting. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, uh, uh, well, it's almost time for lunch. I said I was gonna wait until 11 o'clock, but I might even wait until 12 because the hunger has gone, and I'm still gonna eat my piece of candy as soon as I get off here to run in my mouth and jibber jabbing. I'm a jibber jabber, y'all. <laughs> Can't help it. Runs in the family. And on that note, I will uh, close the video. And I go with love. And I'll see you again soon.